What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the show. I'm Liv Favino, and uh, this is another MLB 2K13 My Player um, series game in the series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about MLB 2K14 and what I want from it. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, I haven't heard anything, and uh, I don't know if I um, really want it to happen. But um, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I hope will change. Um, and I've kind of kept... After my review dropped, and I really want to thank everyone for watching that video. That video is absolutely blown up. You guys are awesome. Um, after that video came out, I kind of was a little bit quiet on my opinions on this game. And to the comments that kept coming in saying, oh, this game is trash, blah, blah, blah. I kind of kept quiet for a reason. Because there are certain things that frustrate me about this game. And there are certain things I really like about this game. One, it's playable. That's something that I can say. It keeps my interest. You know, and it could be because I'm a baseball fan. This is the only game that we got on the Xbox. But this game is playable. I am still playing it. And I will continue to play it. And the franchise mode that I got with the Royals, I'm still playing that too. So I can say this game keeps my interest going. But at the same time, like I said, it could be because I'm a baseball fan. I'm not sure. Um, but, that, <laughs> but to be honest, that's probably what it is. So let's talk about this. So... What do I want to see? If there is an MLB 2K14 game, what do I want to see? First thing I want to see is I want to see you guys take your time, 2K. I want to see you guys absolutely sit down and and work on the game. I don't want to see it done in four months. And I'm sorry, but four months, that's not an excuse. I'm sorry. But, I mean, if, if I were the executive of, of 2K and, Emma and, the, and, and MLB called me and said, Hey, live it. 2K, we need a game. Can you guys make a game right away? First thing I do is I call everyone involved. We work 24 hour days. We get it done. That's not what they did. They came in and they were like, okay, let's just throw out some shit that, that, that was the exact same game as last year. And let's have, you know, let's pay some stars to make appearances on our commercials. But don't show any gameplay though. But make stars and stuff. And, uh, oh, let's also have this uh, perfect game challenge. Um, that, 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 that way people think that you know we're, we're we're rich and stuff and like the, what what that was the stupidest thing in the world the stupid perfect game challenge it was dumb um hey but if you won i'm sure you don't think it's dumb congratulations to whoever won i don't know whoever won but if you won congratulations that's the first thing take your time with the game don't rush it make it good because at the end of the day as xbox players we only have one option and that's you guys and you guys can say you know this is really a plea kind of but um, you, you guys can sit there and say, hey, you know what, we're going to get money either way from these suckers. Let's just put out the same old crap over and over again. Fine. You know, but I mean, I, I hope that you guys at the end of the day aren't just developers and you guys are gamers. You guys are fans of games. You guys like making games because that is really what it is. You got to love making the game. If you don't love making the game and you have completely forgotten what it means to be a gamer and you have completely forgotten what it means to absolutely love playing video games, then I feel sorry for you, but that's where we are. And I think the, the 2K really needs to get back to that and be like, you know what? We did this for a reason. We are part of this huge company for a reason. Let's put out a good game for our fans who have been loyal to us, who have done this, who have taken so much crap from us for the last three years. Let's put it, really put it together and let's get a good game out there. That's what I hope they'll do. Now, I don't know if they will, but that's what I hope that they'll do. That's one. Two, please fix the hitting mechanics because, I'm sorry, the hitting in this game is absolutely terrible. And you guys, as my subscribers, know this because I have talked to you guys on Xbox Live. You guys have talked to me. Um, that I, I try to do a hitting tutorial to kind of help you guys out. But at the end of the day, it's really hard to hit in this game. You can be at the plate with uh, who? Uh, Mike Trout. And you could go up against a D-League type of my league player. Pitch right down the middle. You do a power swing. You're right on the ball, and it's a and it's a ground ball to second baseman. Um, the hitting mechanics really, really need to be updated and made better because there are situations where it just doesn't work very well. So I think that that needs to be tweaked a little bit. The idea of you know really having that total control swing is cool. It just needs to be tweaked a little bit and made. Um, a, a little bit more user friendly. I, I, I don't want it to be like too user friendly, but I want it to be a, a little bit better. Um, 
you know, uh, for the users and stuff like that. Again, it goes back to, you know, you guys are gamers, right? So <laughs> make it fun to play. Um, also, make a franchise owner mode that is actually a franchise owner mode. I want to work with the tickets. I want to build stadiums. I want to, I you know, do all this stuff. I want to do scouting. I want to send my scouts to, you know, the Dominican Republic. I want to do all this stuff. I mean, there, there, there's blueprints for this on NBA 2K's series, and, and uh, even Madden this year, there's blueprints on how to make a game that gamers absolutely love to play and will keep their interest, as opposed to the franchise mode that you guys have, which is basically just signing free agents, re-signing them, um, and uh, setting lineup cards and stuff like that, and dealing with injuries. Like, make it a little bit more in-depth. Make it exciting. Because I think remember in MVP baseball, and I hate comparing it to this, but there was this thing uh, where you could like create your own team, create your own stadium, and it, maybe you guys remember this, and it was the best experience ever. Because I created this team, and I started off with this really like rink-a-dink stadium, and then finally I got enough money to build a hot dog stand. And I put the hot dog stand there, and then all of a sudden people started coming, and my ticket sales blew up, and I was able to build, build a lot more hot dog stands and stuff. And then eventually I got this huge stadium with like these lights and stuff like that, and my team was kicking butt. It was the coolest thing, and, I, and that actually kept my interest for like a year and a half, you know? So just make it exciting. Just make it interesting for gamers. Um... Urgency in the field. Very, very vital. A double play ball should be a double play ball. It shouldn't be a ground ball single baseman and everyone's safe. That happens a lot. That should not happen. Two, make some cut scenes, okay? Make some, you know, uh, bottom of the ninth, two people on, full count, strike them out. I, I, I want to hear the crowd really, really get into the game. I want a cut scene of the manager going, yeah, you know? I, I, I want the pitcher to just be totally jubilated, punching his fist in the air, the catcher running out. I want to see that. I don't see that. I want to see trophy presentations after the World Series. It's just everyone gathers at home plate for a little bit, and that, that, that's about it. I want to see the, the, the you know, I, I want to see all this stuff. Uh, I, I want to see the towels. I want to see the towels in the stands. I, I, I just want this to be a baseball game made f from baseball fans and gamers and it doesn't seem like this game or any other game for the last three years that has been MLB that has had the name MLB 2k in it has been made from baseball fans and gamers I'm sorry and I'm gonna say this too lastly MLB today is a freaking joke that game that that mode is freaking terrible you guys say oh well this mode is the most up-to-date rosters that's a bunch of bs okay because you guys didn't update the rosters you guys only updated the rosters when you guys wanted to update the rosters i think we remember playing with the brewers when ryan Braun got suspended and he was off the team but on that same exact time you can play with the cubs and alfonso soriano was on the team what the hell is that why choose teams like it's it's dumb. that that needs to be fixed if you guys are gonna do it you guys have to do it fully. Don't be lazy about it. That's all I got to say.